Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you the Google Chromecast attached to my Motorola Atrix lap dock. This is a lap dock that connected to the Atrix 4G, and it has a micro HDMI and a micro USB for power and keyboard control, but unfortunately there's no keyboard control with the Chromecast. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this down with an adapter here. This is a micro to full size HDMI. It's female so that the male HDMI goes right in. Then we have a micro USB. I shaved everything down to fit and you got the wire supplying power to the Chromecast. Right now the Chromecast is powered off because the lid is closed. But Once we open up the lid it will power up. So anytime you are done using it you just close it. It will power down and when you lift it back up again it will power up. Now to make this a totally portable experience you can connect it with tethering to one of your phones. Here I'm using an iPhone 5 and I'm using the Tether Me app and I turned on personal hotspot. I pre-configured it to use the Wi-Fi connection or the 3G LTE from my iPhone 5 using my Chrome browser on my Mac and I did updates and I named it Chromecast 1033 and I did the update and did all that stuff. So now it's ready to cast it says. So now you can grab any other device uh, whether it's a laptop or you know using Chrome or an iPhone 4 like I have here or iPod Touch or even some sort of Android device. We'll turn it on and we will see I will connect this to my iPhone 5's hotspot and now I have the YouTube app and Netflix app so let's start with Netflix now this one might be a good thing for a presentation because then you can have a video a private video on YouTube and then you can send it uh, to the a Motorola Atrix lap dock and the persons can watch it and everything like that so let's go in and we'll watch a movie. Let's uh, not use a cartoon. Let's go and uh, let's use this one here, Steve Jobs and um, Bill Gates. Now you see that it over scans, but once the video starts playing, everything plays right full screen with audio. Unfortunately, you can't control the audio, but you can watch the video the way he does things it, it's just different uh, and you know I think it's, it's magical there you have it despite their rivalry in this joint appearance after Jobs had been diagnosed with cancer they displayed a healthy respect and even affection for one another alright so let's pause that out and now let's go into YouTube like, this can be done with Android now on an Android device that has a cellular service we're going to go into YouTube now you might be able to uh, share your personal hotspot and cast image, cast a video. But I'm not 100% sure because I don't own one. So now it's playing here on the phone. And we're going to either, you could press the share button and add it to the playlist. After this show is done with Steve Jobs, we can, uh, it will play right after that. Or you can just press the Chromecast button up here and we will send it over to the Chromecast. And there you have it. It's going to play. It's going to give you the thumbnail for the video. And this is all working over iPhone 5's LTE or 4G. Right now I only have two bars on LTE. And I'm going to hit play. This converter converts. And we're going to play. It's going to buffer a little bit. Start from the beginning. Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you Chromecast in the car. And what I that's, have here is my 7-inch screen. And that's my Chromecast video in the car. So this is Chromecast on a Motorola Atrix lap dock. Um, and here you see the connections. We'll shut it down. And you can take this apart, put it in your bag, take it to your friend's house, take it anywhere. And you know you can connect to the home Wi-Fi, and it works even better depending on your speeds of course so anyway this is a demo 
of the Motorola Atrix Lap Dock and the Google Chromecast. A totally portable experience. Please subscribe, like this video, maybe share it, and check out my other videos. I like doing gadgets like this, little hacks and things like that. And you might find a lot of my videos pretty interesting. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.